So I had a very different video plan for today and I was so excited to make that video but I just woke up to something that I didn't expect to see literally ever. But as I'm recording this right now, Jeremy uploaded a video seven hours ago so that would have been around three to four a.m. in the morning for me but yes, the same Jeremy from the Adopt Me vs Jeremy drama that seemingly ended a week ago now. As far as that drama ending goes, well we are here right now making this video so evidently the no drama streak has been reset back to zero days. Given I pretty closely covered the previous happenings of said drama, I felt like this one should be also included in the mix but not because yes, drama is fun or anything like that. I actually wasn't going to make this video because this situation isn't all that big but I feel like there is a very important message in all of this to put out there towards the end. Adopt Me is in big trouble, it's currently sitting at number 19 on the trending for gaming. I know the basic premise of Jeremy's video and I know what kind of provoked him into wanting to make it but I haven't actually watched it just yet. The description doesn't let on too much, it more or less just intensifies things. Okay I think this time Adopt Me has really gone too far this crosses the line on so many levels. What do you think about this issue with? This this issue with what, Jeremy? You can't just end the sentence there. I need to know what you are going to say. I hate cliffhangers. With that being said, please make sure to leave a like on this video or I will end it right here. My very own cliffhanger and no one gets to know what I was going to say. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. A quarter of a million grows closer each and every single single day. But before we go into what problems might have arised this time around, I just want to address something Jeremy said within the first minute or so of the video. He basically talks about how every time he makes a new Roblox account and uses it to play Adopt Me for a video, around an hour after his video goes up, Adopt Me bans that new account. Every account of mine that I make gets banned on Adopt Me about an hour after the video comes out. Look, it's probably frustrating to go through that and especially after after you have responded and genuinely apologized, but my guy, that's what a ban is. You can't really get banned from a game and then get upset that they keep banning your new accounts. Like if a previously banned member joins my Discord server, then of course we ban them on this new account that they just made. Again, it's understandable how annoying that probably is after having apologized, but ultimately is the choice of the game. If Adopt Me ban you and continue to ban new accounts, that just their choice. When he gets to the point of the video he starts off by saying that Tactful also known as Josh has been saying some questionable stuff on Twitter and that it's pretty much changing his entire perspective of the game. Apparently what was said happened to be a very racist statement and the more we go into this I do hope it gets explained why but the Adopt Me Twitter account tweeted a video that's just a couple seconds long basically showcasing the sound effect of an instrument in the game game and that instrument being a didgeridoo. The reply tweet from Josh is what Jeremy referred to as racist and what he had a big problem with. He pretty much just called the instrument dumb I guess. Jeremy says it's racist because it's a sacred instrument to Australia and basically I will let him do the explaining with this one. Because as adults we know that the didgeridoo it's a very sacred and indigenous Australian instrument and it's really cool. I feel like I personally have no say here being I'm not from Australia or not properly informed of this specific culture but at the same time I think it's beyond obvious that the tweet in question from Josh was nothing more than an attempt at a friendly light-hearted and kind of sarcastic joke but that's not really the point when it comes down to it the reply tweet her offended and upset a lot of people and that's what really matters here just because something doesn't cause offense to you doesn't mean it's gonna go that way with everyone we individually don't really have any right to tell other people what they should and shouldn't be offended by. And before Jeremy even said anything about the problems he had with what had been said, many other people began saying how that was kind of offensive and racist and that it just didn't sit right with them. But the rest of Jeremy's video is just him going through it and the responses from various different people and 
honestly, I don't know how he got this video to over 10 minutes, but I'm honestly impressed. That's weirdly some kind of skill. But this morning, Josh obviously woke up to seeing everyone getting upset with him and decided to acknowledge that and properly address it. Whilst I was asleep, some people pointed out that this tweet joke I made was culturally insensitive. It was intended as a light-hearted play on words. That's what I meant when I said that it's probably some sarcastic kind of joke. I really do think it was just a very poor choice of wording that he went with to put across. I have deleted the tweet plus apologise. I, I think it's great that he acknowledged everyone who got hurt by the joke he made and that he apologised and didn't attempt to brush it off as just a joke and tried to defend his actions. It's certainly not my place to accept the apology but I can and will say that I appreciate that he did that. Can Neko get a reply to the apology tweet from Josh and then he replied to that by saying I'd rather people call me out on it so that I can correct it and this is where that important lesson I mentioned previously comes into play. All too often do we see people getting instantly cancelled for something they have done wrong. It's like someone messes up and almost automatically, literally like robots, everyone jumps onto trying to cancel that person without analysing en literally anything. What if that person in the wrong genuinely didn't know that what they did was wrong or what if they genuinely didn't intend to cause hurt or offence to people? When it comes down to things in situations like this, people need to attempt to inform and educate before they do anything else. The very few rare times that I've seen someone say something offensive and ill-mannered and then watched other people educate them on why what they said was wrong and the original offender sincerely apologised from then on changed their ways, that was just incredible to see. Of course not knowing something or not being educated on something is not at all an excuse for saying or doing something messed up because there is never an excuse for doing that but educating and informing is always the first route that we should take. Basically a step in the right direction for a kinder world. Imagine someone is incredibly hateful and offensive, someone else comes along to educate them then the first person takes that lesson and changes to become better versus someone being hateful and offensive, a group of people come along to send hate to them and cancel them. That person is not gonna learn a single thing and is gonna leave that altercation the same exact person as before it happened. Whether or not Jeremy needed to make a video about this I really don't know, I'm not sure I'd call it necessary but I am still happy with the way it was handled by Tactful and he didn't just try to pass it off as some kind of joke and that people shouldn't get upset over it but instead he actually made sure to acknowledge the hurt that he may have caused and really genuinely apologised for that. I really do hope you guys take the lesson about the whole educate not cancel thing seriously because I will always stand by that and I think it's such a beautiful thing to be able to share our knowledge with people unknowingly spouting offensive remarks and our ability to educate and inform is beyond incredible. As always do not go sending any hit to adopt me or Josh or Jeremy or literally anyone you may have seen in this video. But anyway let me know you guys think of this entire now hopefully de-escalated situation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.